Seats cannot be reserved in a coffee house. There were no class prejudices, and besides women, no one would be refused entrance. You heard that correctly. In the 1600s, women were not allowed in coffee houses. Here, merchants, politicians, lobbyists, intellectuals, scientists, journalists, scholars, poets, and common men alike all took seats sometimes to discuss business, but most of the time simply to enjoy coffee and partake in the discourse and debate of their chosen subject. Today's episode is dedicated to first responders. I want to give a quick shout out to Chris who reached out to me and asked me if I can do a review on the Peacemaker Coffee and let's get it started. you enjoyed the cinematics but now let's get down to the meat and potatoes of this review uh it is a bold intense coffee uh dark roast i personally enjoyed the flavor it was strong i dare i say that it reminds me of bustello which could be blasphemy to the people i grew up with but it does remind me of that strong bold flavor and we tried it with the french press um a coffee pot and an espresso machine the espresso machine we put a little bit too much milk in it on that latte but overall it was a good coffee we've been drinking it for the past couple of days here and i personally think it's a good good cup of coffee so if you are interested amazon is selling it for 14.99 um just type in peacemaker coffee company and it'll come up you have ground or whole bean the beginning of this episode i read an excerpt from this book the curious barista's guide to coffee and it it was regarding coffee shops and I bring that up for the simple fact that I've mentioned it before. Coffee is community. I grew up in a place where Sundays we'd have my our aunts, uncles come, drink coffee, speak about their ideals or or point of views or disagreements. But it was always shared with coffee on the table. And this isn't a tone deaf video like the Kendall Jenner Pepsi video. Uh, this is just something that I think in today's current status where a pandemic is going on, we don't give enough credit to the people who are dealing with it on the front line. I just want to say thank you to my family and friends who are in law enforcement, who are nurses, uh, who are military background. I appreciate everything you do. I think you guys don't get enough credit, especially in a time like this where it's a little bit of an organized chaos. Uh, I'm starting to see society come together a little bit. The people are being a little bit kinder. Uh, it, it blows my mind how something like this had to happen or is going on for people to start treating others better. Um, so with that being said, regardless of how you feel or your opinions on these organizations, I think share a coffee with them, have a conversation, thank someone 
for doing what they're doing because at the end of the day, we're just all trying to live our lives and enjoy a cup of coffee. Thoughts? Thoughts. Great cup of coffee. Good? Tastes just like home. Recommend it? Of course. A nice big cup. Nice big cup? Yeah. Cool.